Oh lord, the old school source of the spec, oh my magic can I bet players get literally melted with this gank build. I have never used solo sword before, I've seen it a couple years ago on a ton of gank builds and magicka saucer builds, but now it's back and it's super broken, people are basically one shot. Setup, nothing special to be honest, with daddy strikes on the front bar, which increase our damage over time abilities and channel abilities by 15%. Second set, War Maiden, for almost 600 weapon spell damage to our magic damage abilities. A better option would be Corruptite, for over 700 weapon spell damage. But I prefer War Maiden, it's way more comfortable to play, we don't need to drain our stamina always. And then Balog, for extra penetration as monster set. And Bakebar, just a random restoration stuff in this case, critical repost, for extra crit resistance. This build is based on our ultimate solo sword. Deeds around 8 to 15k damage per tick, depends on the target of course. If you combine it with Crushing Weapon, which I use as pre-buff for Major Breach, which deeds around 5 to 8, sometimes 9k, we can almost easily one-shot targets. I'm using an Inferno stuff for extra 10% single target damage, with the passive Ancient Knowledge. Equipment Inferno stuff increases the damage done with single target abilities by 10%. If you prefer a little bit more burst damage, you can go with Dubit for extra penetration or weapon spell damage. Should be slightly better, but then you need to be melee, which is way more dangerous. Well, we have like 20k HP, you can get one shot it easily. Armor types, I'm on three medium armor pieces for extra good damage. Rest, so four light armor pieces for extra pen. Full divines and full max magicka glyphs. Jewelry full infused, full spare damage, front bar inferno stuff, it sharpened with the flame damage enchant and back bar, a random restoration stuff, in this case critical repost, in defending with the berserker glyph. Skills, Karma Hunter for minor berserk, major prophecy and slayer just slotted for the extra 3% weapon spare damage, concede weapon for the extra 10% flat damage, and my expedition. Crushing weapon, like I said before, for major breach, almost 6k pen. Mercer Sweet off, just slotted, mainly for hemorrhage. 10% extra crit damage. And Civil Leash, also just slotted for Slayer. And Solar Sword, our ultimate. By the way, it took me around over 5 hours questing the main quest. Was it worth? Yes, it was worth. Backbar, shoot offering as burst heal. Rapid Regen is hot, Chain Excavation for Minor Force, Seeming Frenzy, the Vamp Toggle, for even more spell damage, Shadow Disguise's Cloak ability, and Light Champion as Defense Ultimate. Race, Khajiit, for extra 12% crit damage. Second best choice would be probably Dunmore, but Khajiit should be best in slot. Mundus the Shadow, for 17% extra crit damage. Vamp Stage 2. You know it, for the passive, strike from the shadows, another 300 extra weapon spell damage, and food, cast the eyeball, for extra magicka region, for a little bit more damage you can even go with the green max magicka food. All that few points in magicka. Potions, mainly the detection potions, with major sorcery, stealth detection and magicka. CPs. Daddy Aim, Master Arms, Backstabber and Tamotouch. Tamotouch also increases chant abilities it seems, so better than Morphle Strikes or Fighting Finesse. Red CP, Celebrity, Boundless Vitality Rejuvenation and Fortified. Combination, super simple, pre-buff yourself with Simu Frenzy and wait until you have 5 stacks. Then Chant Exploration and Mercer's Resolve. Now the tricky part starts, pre-buff yourself with crushing weapon, into light attack, into sword sword. If it's too laggy, you can even skip the crushing weapon part and do a fully charged heavy attack into sword sword. Also possible. Enjoy the gameplay footage, thanks for watching, have a nice day. Don't forget to summon and leave a like and a comment below. I really appreciate it guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.